Hey everyone, so today I wanna to share with you five tips on how to take a more professional profile photo. So, we're gonna talk about how to dress, uh, how to pick your location, how to find good lighting, the angle you wanna take your photo at, and some basic editing. Okay, so I took a walk around my neighborhood and um, I found a place that I can shoot at. So, so first let's talk about how to dress. You want to dress for the job you want. Maybe you're working at a job just to make ends meet right now, but you want to dress professionally. So um, even if you don't quite have the money to buy something really nice, you can go to a thrift store. We're only gonna be seeing this photo from about here and higher. So you can go to a thrift store, find like a nice blazer, a nice top, something that is gonna look more professional than what maybe you have right now. Okay, uh, so for example, for me, I am a teacher, so I'm wearing a sweater to show my teacherness. My brand colors um, are, always have purple in it, so nice and purple. All right, so next let's talk about location. We wanna find somewhere that has a pretty neutral background without a lot of distractions going on. So I walked around my neighborhood. So let me show you an example of a bad background. So all this right now, there's just so many distractions going on. There's so many different things to look at. But I found this big book. Okay, so this is gonna work great. It's gonna be kind of, you know, just there. Um, <laughs> it's not gonna be distracting. Now, if you can't find a big bush around you, you can use like a blank wall or even a wall with a mural as long as there's just like some colors, not any like words or anything going on, that would work too. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this bush here. So let me go ahead and show you so if i just stood right here we still have a whole bunch of distractions we've got part of a house we've got a tree that's not going to work out well what we want to do is get up on it so i'm going to back up and now i have a great background with no distractions Okay, next let's talk about lighting. We wanna have a nice soft lighting, as photographers would call it, diffused lighting. Um, soft lighting is gonna come from, I'm lucky because today we have overcast skies, uh, so there's clouds in the sky blocking the sun, so it's creating a nice soft light. Another soft light source would be in the shade of a building. So if it's a sunny day when you're trying to do this, don't be in the bright sunlight hitting your face. That's gonna be a little bit too dramatic for what we're trying to do. Now, dramatic can work for some professions, but for this project, I just want you guys to find some nice soft lighting. So, um, here I am, it's cloudy, um, and so I have nice soft light on me. Sweet! Um, now, for this project, do this outdoors. I know that indoors it seems like the light is brighter, but that's just because our pupils and our eyes open up to let more light in. In reality, the lights that we see indoors are usually way, way uh, lower, and so you're not gonna get as good of a quality image. Okay, so we've talked about uh, three of the main things. Now let's talk about angle. All right, so we don't wanna take an angle from down low, no. We don't want to take an angle super high. This isn't a selfie, no. Uh, we want to be about eye level. So right now my camera is probably a little bit higher than my eye, but this is going to work out great. So I'm going to pull my arm back a little bit because we do need some space to crop. We're going to crop this as a square. So let's pull back a little bit, smile. Okay, looking good. Um, let's take a look. All right, that's nice. And notice that I'm smiling, I'm not frowning. Um, I want to look like someone that you'd want to hire, that you would want to work with. So this is gonna work out great. Let's go ahead and go to edit. Now there's really not much editing that needs to be done. Uh, I can do a quick crop. So I wanna make sure I'm cropping to a square and that looks good there. And then I'm gonna go here, and I think I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast, just a slight bit of contrast. All right, and I'm gonna add a little bit of a vignette. So a vignette adds either dark or light around the edges of your photo. Um, what I like to do is add a little bit of a dark vignette so that all the attention goes straight to the middle of the photo, straight to my face where I want people to look at. All right, sweet, that's it. I'm gonna hit done. All right, now for your iPhone users, 
Um, I want to show you guys portrait mode real quick. So if I click here on portrait, what it basically does is it blurs out the background. So that could be really helpful, especially if it is a little distracting. Um, so we could do the same thing again. And there are some different settings here. So you can go normal, studio lights, uh, contour lights. I'm going to go with the studio light setting. Pull back a bit. Smile. Okay. And... There we go. Oh, I was looking down a little bit on that one. And that one will work better. And again, just doing a very quick edit to get a square crop. And if you notice, the third lines come up when I'm cropping. I want to get my eyes around that top line there. Okay. And now switching over. And I'm going to add a little bit of a vignette and just maybe a touch of contrast. All right, done. Okay, okay and that's it. Um, pretty quick and easy to make a better looking professional profile photo. All right guys, can't wait to see what you come up with.